Bills from the flip side. Um, we're just going to do some pickups here tonight. So we got uh, um, we got myself, we got uh, we got uh, Aaron, and we got Phil. And uh, why don't we just get right into this? Um, all right. So I'm going to share some books here. I was in uh, go th- try to go quickly here. Quite a few. Uh, had to go to San Diego for a couple of days for work. Didn't get out much, but I did pop into a couple of shops, grabbed a few things, um, found uh, Star Slayer Two. I think I paid, ended up paying 15 bucks for this. Um, it's in pretty nice shape. Same store. Um, got uh, uh, Pacific Resistance Rocketeer number one. Some good Dave Stevens stuff. Uh, same shop. Miracle Man um, number one. Um, in really sharp shape. One of my one of my favorite books. Um, super underappreciated. Um, so. Yesteryear Comics is in San Diego, and they did this Gwenpool special. This book is a ghost for reasons I can't explain. It shouldn't be so hard to find, but um, I asked the guy, like, do you have any more of these? He's like, I think I got one left if you want it. So so I got pick up my second copy of this. You can't find this online. I, I can't explain why why you can't find this. It shouldn't be as difficult to find as it is. It's almost like that Riri book. Uh, from the yeah, I mean, it's not, yeah, it's not, it's not quite there, but Search for that book online. That that, that you can't find it anywhere. Um, it's, it's not a store exclusive. It's not a. It is a store exclusive. It's yesterday oh, okay. comics. Oh yes, it's a store exclusive. But like oh, you know, right. I I don't know why why this one's so hard. It, it it literally is nowhere to be found. And even like the um, I think like my comic shop doesn't even have it on on there. Um, um. Hey Joe, what's up, man? Hey, what's up, man? um you know uh cover price has it listed but with no picture like a lot of places don't even have it in their database for whatever reason it's it's, it's super strange yeah um, recently i remember Gwenpool is pretty popular in um southern california when i was there yeah yeah maybe it's stuck in collections yeah maybe 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 people are just sitting on them um grab the third print from from this classic book I mean, this is one of the best stories ever written in my opinion third printing sketch cover would you, oh. would you pay for that, man? Not a ton, man. I think that was probably like fifteen bucks, something like that. Man, that's a good buy. Yeah, I I love picking those up whenever I find them. Um, found this in a dollar bin, uh, one oh, yeah. in twenty-five. TV shows coming, so who knows? Um, for a buck, can't say no. Uh, we've talked about these before, but I keep grabbing them. These, these Noto qualifiers are like these photo like candid type covers um i just love them i keep grabbing them i'm gonna have to do the research on what the qualifiers were but i i think some of these are actually harder to come by than than people might think so um, i don't think i've ever seen that ant-man one it's awesome man it's so yeah. freaking good um it's really it's really good there's, there's probably like eight or ten of them that you did i think um but i keep grabbing those I bought this for I don't know why. Um, this is uh, Will Jack. He's an artist who's kind of up, up and coming. This is a metal cover. I probably overpaid for it. Nobody's ever going to give a shit for it, but there's only 25 of them, so why the hell not? Now, I've seen you post some of his heat on Instagram, man. I mean, he's he's coming up big time. Yeah, man. He's, he, he's a really nice dude. I've been talking to him on there. He's a, he's a pretty chill guy. Um Great Hughes cover. I've had. I, I was finally able to find out one of these. So I got it for forty, which I think is a pretty good deal because I think this thing goes for well over a hundred draw almost consistently. So um, one in twenty five on a book, you know, that didn't sell a lot. Was that in the poly bag or in the bag? Just it was poly bag, but this one isn't. But it, it, it But these were poly bags when okay. they originally were sold. Uh, grabbed these gun honey foils. They're pretty nice. Um, I gotta be honest. I prefer the trade dress to be honest with you, but, um, these were limited to seven fifty. Um, thought they were pretty cool. I like Remember? that. I like the third print trade dress where it says gun honey on the side. On the yeah, side. That's coming out yeah. soon. That's coming out soon. Um, you know, these hard case books, some of them are really cool. This one is fucking impossible to find. This is Faye Dalton. And uh, you can't find this book fucking anywhere. Um, I tracked it down for probably just over cover, but it's a it's badass. Um, and I think you know that Gun Honey may sort of raise the profile 
of some of these other books that that hard, you know, that Titan did the hard case uh, line, but but uh, this one's pretty cool. Uh, Samson helped me find this one. This is this is a one in fifty of the second um, champions um, run. So this is not the first one. The print run on the second one was far far smaller than than the than the original. I think it was only in the thirty to forty thousand range. So these one in fifties are, are are super hard to find, and this one is really clean. So probably gonna get this one sent in, but super cool book. One I've always a book I always wanted. That's a that's a ratio, right? Yeah, one in fifty. Yeah. Just grab this because it's Mercado and he's fucking awesome. And I don't know, it's beautiful. One in ten. Uh, Josh Burns, big Josh Burns fan. Um, I like this book. I tried to I tried to get it on the spec ten, but it didn't get there. I can. Dude, I why. think I have. I think I have that one. Too. It's his. What's that, man? I think I have that. Oh yeah. So this is his second cover, um, but it's the sort of the first cover in the style that he's known for. The first one was like a monster, but you know, he draws good-looking girls. Basically, is what Josh Burns is known for. And this is his first one. This is a cover C. You know, these Xenoscope books don't have huge print runs. The C covers are really tough to come by, and, and this thing is stunning. And uh, so I've been. I've been grabbing these when I see them, but they're, they're not particularly hard, easy to find. When you find them, you can probably get them for relatively low prices, but yeah, really like this book. So did some work, and as um, far as I can tell, this is Ji Hung Lee's first cover. Really? Um, he did... Um, he did something for Marvel. It's like a promotional poster that folded up in the shape of a comic with Iron Man on it. Um, so I don't know if that counts or not, but there were a ton of those made, you know, a quarter million by most accounts. Uh, but this, his first true comic, th th this is it. So uh, uh, this is hard. This was harder, a hell of a lot harder to find than I than I would have thought. But, um, you know, seeing he's one of my favorite artists, happy to have it. More Josh Burns stuff. I mean, I, I think, like, listen, What's the play on these books, right? Josh Burns is fucking amazing, at least in my opinion. What's the play? Because Art Germ used to do work over at Zenoscope, right? So if Josh Burns gets picked up by one of the big two, you know, some of these books could come and could be in demand. But I mean, look at this. This thing is awesome. I found this online late one night. It's an homage to Planet Comics. Um Number one by Dave Stevens. You can see oh, it yeah. behind my head there. Not many homages of this. This is certainly the, the Adam Hughes, the tough one. This is a metal cover. It was limited to 20. Listen, I'm a little embarrassed to say this is a naughty and, a, a, a naughty and nice book. I'd never really ever wanted or intended to own one of them. But, but you know, this homage, you know. Hey, it's a cool I, cover, man. I had to grab it, so. These are fun. Grab these. Um, these are uh, obviously homages to Ultimate Fallout 4. Uh, the first one, uh, this one is uh, 200, limited to 200. This one's limited to 250. I don't know. I thought it was pretty cool. Why not? Hell yeah. It's Those are Stadium Comics from Canada. Is that right? Yeah, those that's exactly right. They're in Stadium, man. Um, a bubble boom cover. Who cares other than me? But I think it's badass. Found this in a five dollar bin. I only would know about it because a Carter loves this book. Sarge Steel. That's that feels like it was a pretty good grab. This thing, this thing's super rare. Um, it's a reprinting of, of Deadpool's first appearance. Um, there were that these were like less than 15k printed super super rare and a book that not a lot of people talk about but um for for five bucks good pickup that is a good pickup because it also has what x-force yes uh, well it's um it's, uh, it's 98 like 99 and 100 i think yeah 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 i think it's yeah so it's got yeah the first um 
you know, I, I think this book could pop. I've um, found another one of them. It's a one in 100, right? This is, that's the Netflix Daredevil Charlie Cox. If he hits the MCU, this book should get some get some love. I mean, like I said, it is a one in 100. They're not exactly easy to come by. I've been able to find three now um, <laughs> for, for relatively affordable prices. And uh, I don't know. I just think it has upside. That's a badass cover. A lot of upside. Yeah, it's so it's so cool, man. Uh, <laughs> a book I way overpaid for, but I've never seen it, so I'm not going to feel too bad about it. So this is Jeff DeCall's first work. Uh, Mel helped me uh, track this down. I've never seen it. It's impossible to search for. Uh, I'm not going to say what I paid for it, but um, you know, I chewed on it for about two hours and like i'm never gonna find this book so i grabbed it but ts 101 you can see there he, the call he has his he, he signed it it's not his usual signature but it's on his pocket up there i don't know if you see that but this is oh, an aaron yeah the aaron confirmed uh from from jeff himself that this was his first work so um yeah, yeah. he couldn't remember if it was ts 101 or um forgive me father so yeah this one definitely came out way well before forgive me father so um that's definitely it. I don't know. Got this for a buck. Joe Jusco, Deadpool. I don't know. This this cover never gets any. Nobody ever talks about it, but it, it's pretty cool. I love picking up that run. Like I finished it not too long ago, and yeah, yeah the that's one of the you know pricier books in it. Yeah, I love that. I mean, I, yeah, it was it was it was, it was uh, just sitting there. It says uh, five bucks for our Nemesis. You know, this could be. This could be the kind of show that catches people by surprise when it comes out. I think this this could, you know, this is basically like the evil Batman. Uh, this could this could really work, I think, on on TV. Um, so grabbing those, Adam Hughes on uh, Catwoman. When you find these for five bucks or less, you should grab them. I think it's one of my favorite covers. There, I'm getting there. Got this from. Uh, from some huckster on whatnot. Now I got this from uh, uh, my man, Joe. Um, uh, I love this book and it, it, you know, you never really see it out there. I don't know what it is. I, I, I should look up what, what the estimated print run is, but this those is are hard to find. It was a low print run. Yeah. Those, they're just, they're just not out there ever in the wild. How do you pronounce that name, Joe? Uh, Aranya. Aranya. <laughs> <laughs> so 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 these USA Avengers books this is something I've got to dig into a little bit but um so the, the, this this USA Avengers number 1 had about 110 copies or 110,000 copies ordered but there were 62 fucking covers for this book right so you know one for each state so some of these have got to be ridiculously rare um so she hulk she's coming I figured why not but I I think there's something to be researched here and i just i gotta go and do the work but um so anyways, i'm starting to pick these up when i see them well they did all 50 states uh they even did canada which is uh deadpool yeah. and then i want to say they did some provinces and some probably some other stuff to you so Wait. yeah and then it's 110,000. Yeah. let's just say that 20 percent of that was cover a maybe i don't know i'm just making it up once you spread it out most of the books, there can't be that many of each cover out there, right? I mean, it's got to be a relatively um, uh, low print run set, and maybe in some states are probably shorter print, shorter printed than others. And... All right, so this is the second second newsstand copy I found of this book. I mean, Marvel Max newsstand, right? So this is an adult comic on the newsstand. I don't know how this exists really, but um, I, I do know that Yelena is, I think, is going to be around the MCU for a while and. Her first solo series, so happy to grab it. Probably the last time I'm going to find this book at a reasonable price. Um, it's really taken off, but I think this book's got serious legs to it, but we'll, we will see. Well, that just recently made the CBSI Hot 10, too. Yeah, no, just last night. Yeah, finally that book is getting some attention, man. Yeah, I mean, I think, you know, if you, I reread the original Bloodstone series and the character in that miniseries is not the Elsa Bloodstone that we've been reading since. It's just not the same character at all. So that is the Elsa, the first time we see the Elsa that we know. So 
I'm not sort of discounting that. I've got a pile of those bloodstones myself, but you know, there's there's something to be said for 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 that book. Um, this uh, this book is hard as fuck to find, um, and and I, I'm starting to really dig into these Marble Milestone editions, but this one in particular is hard as hell to find, and it's one of the coolest looking ones. These books, um, a couple of things going for them. One, um, you know, they're tough and high grade. This this silver gets the crap kicked out of it. Um, Two, I mean, these reprints usually weren't as well looked after, um, but but some of these are hard as hell, and this book never shows up. And you know, the ones that are listed on eBay are going for like a hundred bucks, but um, and there's like six on the census, right? Um, but 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 this one is this one's awesome, and there are some newsstands for these, um, if you can find them. Um, I talked about um, Fantastic Four number five, first appearance of Doctor Doom, but. You know, I would keep your eye open from Zinni. I think Aveng uh, Avengers number one is another hard hard one to get, but um, um, but yeah, I, I like these, and I'm so happy to have this one because I'll probably never own the original Captain America number one at this point. Well, it's funny. Like one of my early books, uh, that I bought as a kid was uh, X Men one, and then when I got back into comics, Stan Lee was doing a signing, and I actually got him to sign that. Like just you know something for the PC, the, the simile ver this um this milestone the, version of it, like, like the, the yeah, Marvel, yeah, 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 of the X Men one, so yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I, so I, I mean, buy all of those, and and I think as sort of like later printings have now become more than accepted in the community, um, like I, I think there's some upside for those in particular because particularly in high grade they're, they're tough to get. So I would I would I would be keep my eye, keeping my eye open for those when you're out there digging. I can't explain this book. <laughs> go find, go go see if you can find it. It's not that old. Uh, it's a cover B. Um, came out a few months ago. Doesn't exist. Like I got guys on eBay and on um, on Instagram saying like, "How the fuck did you find that?" I've been looking for months, not a whiff of it. Um, I found this on the shelf at the most disorganized LCS I've ever been to um, today, and uh, so. It's pretty cool, but yeah, go 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 look for it. And if you can find it online anywhere, let me know. I looked; it's nowhere to be found. Is and it? Is it like? Is that the book? Like right before they took a a break? I don't know when they. I mean, because I mean, I feel like that that would explain a lot of it. Like you know, people aren't ordering as much like right before they're stopping. And it then... might have been Aaron. That might have been right when they, when when they did take that little bit of a break. But it's um but yeah it's it, it's super hard and like i said this is the cover the cover b the cover a is out there but but this one is a guy he's like i i collect got characters like you like bubblegum covers i collect characters of uh, covers of people smoking and he's like i i can't find that book can i have it um one of my favorite art journal covers ever this thing is just wildly underappreciated with um, Super Gruppler reflecting the glass, but love this one. Almost there. Kamala Khan from New Jersey. We talked about these books just a minute ago. I figured this was a no-brainer. And last but not least, I, I, you know, I know there's a gazillion um, store variants for, for this book. I'd never seen this one. And it popped up the other day, and I just thought it was really clever. I, I read a lot about the whole Kennedy assassination when I was a kid, and in, in the, the history behind this this photograph. Uh, this was limited limited to five hundred. Um, the the Virgin and this one, the trade dress, were both limited to five hundred, and I took the trade dress. I like trade dress. I mean, we we all end up buying the Virgins because they tend to be the rarer ones, but I prefer trade dress when I can get it. And uh, so, anyways, I grabbed this. Don't expect to ever do very much, but. I posted it on Instagram. People were like, what is that book? I've never seen that. I get this one for me just flew under the radar. So um, that's all no, I got. I mean, I definitely agree with you on picking up trade dresses because, like, if I pick up a virgin covered and just the virgin, like, months from now, I'm not going to remember what title that what book is. is this, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'm like, what is this? Like, yeah. I'm like, oh, it looks cool. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, I know. I, trade dress is like, it's art, right? I mean, like, she-hulk right i was grabbing these too like i love this book but like you know that th that is part of what comics are and we look when we look at like old comics mm. like the trade dress is 
brings a lot to it. And um, and this 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 trend to make all of our rarest books virgins, I'm not in love with it. I mean, like I said, I'll buy them if I really like them. But like if 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 I'm given the choice between two books with the same number printed, one with trade dress, one without, I'll take the one with the trade dress. Um, yeah. Uh, but I mean, just... and I'm not trying to discount anyone that appreciates like the full art to see like, you know, see the art without the without the trade. Like, you know, that's cool. That's yeah, that's no, your I... thing. But like just me personally, I, I'm with you on that. But like I like to see the trade dress because like that's how comics were, have always been. Kind yeah, of. Yeah, it's part of the comic and you incorporate the art with it. Like, yeah, uh, like I said, I, to each their own. I'm not going to tell anybody what to do or how to collect. But for me, I do. I do appreciate the trade dress and particularly if it's an, if it's interesting. So yeah. all right, uh, that's it. Sorry. It took so long. No, no, you're good. Um, Phil, do you want to go or do you want me to go? Oh, uh, just a quick question for Ben, but you can go first, Aaron. But um, yeah. So when you travel, do you like kind of limit yourself and what you pick up? Because, you know, you're on a plane, right? I assume you, you flew it into. Yeah. 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 You know, I, I'm, not, I'm not, I'm not loading up. I mean, you know, if I picked up 10 books or something, you know, just not enough to pick, I, I you know, on my backpack, you know, not enough to fit in there where, where I can stick them in there. But yeah, I'm not going to go wild, right? I mean, unless you know, if I happen to find like a huge stash, I guess I'd just ship it to myself or something if that was the case. But yeah, I usually just, you know, and I haven't traveled in like a year and a half like everybody else. But and a lot of times I'm just so busy, I, I couldn't even get to an LCS if I wanted to, but there happened to be one near my hotel when I was in San Diego, so I just walked over there and, and nice. checked it yeah. out. So. Cool. Might have yeah, to start also... carrying... I was going to say, you might have to start carrying a store folio whenever you travel. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm probably. also curious, um, how was the uh, wall book selection? Um, maybe, I'm not sure if you would hit more than one shops, but, you know, I'm just curious. Uh, what... So this shop that I was in at San Diego... Um, he didn't really have much in the way of wall books. Then. So he had like a little glass cabinet and um, oh, he had a, a glass cabinet in the back that had some interesting stuff in it. Um, everything is, is fully priced. It's weird. Like I showed you that, um, that Rocketeer, like the news had broken about that new TV show coming out. And he just had that in his, he had like a section of, he just called it first appearances and it was in there. And uh, like I said, it, it said 20 on it. I think I got it for 15 bucks or something. I think at that point it was going for a hell of a lot more than that online. But yeah, he had he had like a glass and everything. Everything is at least eBay prices, I would say. There, 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 there was nothing in there. It looked like a, you know, like, like a, a real good steal or anything like that. Um, and then and, and most anything else that he was aware of that was hot was, it was, was, you know, it was fully priced. It was fully priced. Cool. All right. So let me go through some books I picked up. All right. So, you know, Bird City was right across the, the aisle from uh, from Tales from the Flip Side. Uh, you know, and then I know Ant and everyone. So uh, he was there flying solo on Friday. So I decided to help him out and stuff like that. But uh, I picked up an extra one. Uh, I'm give, I'm doing a giveaway on whatnot. Um for this so i'm going to try to put this video out tomorrow morning so we can see it and then um but yeah um pretty cool glow in the dark funny story with this i um uh, on friday towards the end of the convention i was like i was like i was talking to Ann. i was like oh you should put one on, at trisha's table just to promote it and stuff like that so you know i'm bringing over a copy and then um some someone that was at Trisha's booth was like, "Oh, she's not signing right now." Blah blah blah. I was just like, kind of like, I just hear the drop off the this book <laughs> for her that from road. Like, this is from Bird City. Like, you know, blah blah blah. Like, and then uh, it was funny. Trish was like, "Oh, he's cool. He's with me." Like, blah blah. blah. So I was like, "Yeah, that's great." You you should what you should have went. Hey, fuck you, man. <laughs> <laughs> right and and make him pay for it, dude. Yeah. Right when Trish said everything's okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. See, bitch. No, I'm just. Well, I, I think it was her, her, her husband. So. Oh, okay. Wow. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. But anyways, he, yeah. I don't think he would have liked that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Exactly. He'd have probably been a little upset. Um, yeah, the dog just walked out of the room, man, when he heard that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um. So, kidding. half the fun of the convention was being able to dig with everyone, and um, one of the booths that Steve recommended they had like dollar books. 
So uh, I think Joe was with me when I picked up this. So I picked up each nice. copy for a dollar. So I was like, kind of like, why not? Like, <laughs> so Nebula ones. I think Phil was there too, and you, you held it up. Were you there, Phil, when you pulled? Yeah, that? you know when um, I got the alert from Steve that that booth was open, and it was a local um, a local sh a local shop in Baltimore. And I was like, at that point, man, I was like, man, I got to work my booth. Like, I got to sell books, man. It's already, you know, it's time, you know. So, mm -hmm. um, but yeah, I mean, Baltimore, literally every single important local comic book shop or, you know, known local comic book shop was at Baltimore Comic Con. So uh, Aaron did really well with that, that little dive. How many copies? Ten copies? Uh, six copies. And I left, I left one behind just, just to be nice. So someone else could, you know. Uh, but some other pickups from there. I found the Saga Forty One, the oh. <laughs> the error. So for a dollar, nice. I'm like I can't complain. Um, I thought this was just a cool book. You know, I think I think That's Rich a key. put it on. That's yeah. a key. So New Avengers, uh, thirteen for a dollar. Nice. Um, you know how much I love Polaris, so I just picked up this Prisoner X there. I was nice. like, for for a dollar, I can't complain. And then. I really like these uh David Nakayama like oh uh, yeah those are those are fucking like, all, yeah those are like awesome, Sinsel. yeah so like it, like especially with how popular those like Banksy homages are becoming and stuff like that I was like I was like this you know street art like starting to blend into uh into comics and stuff like that I was like ah, this is easy yeah Nak and then, and Nakayama is de definitely starting to pick up some some heat I mean he's people are loving his stuff yeah, and then uh, a couple books that um, Dino uh, bought for me for as a thank you for you know helping with the channel and everything. Uh, he, I picked out this book on the wall, so mm -hmm. I was like, I was like, oh, I've been eyeing this for for a long time. They they had it at a pretty decent price, so I was like, and he's like, he's like, that's all you want? I was like, yeah. And I he's like, I had never seen that book. You had never seen that? Yeah, I had never seen that book. I, I think Nico had been talking about it for a little bit. Uh, and then I had known about it. I just couldn't find it at the price I wanted to pay. And so, and then if someone else is offering to pay for it, you know, why not? And then, I mean, but it was still a good deal. What year but, did that come out, Aaron? Um, I'm not sure what year, but it says it's copyright is 2010. Mm, okay. And then um, he's like, that's all you want? And I was like, yeah. And he's like, he's like, nah, you're gonna pick something else. And I was like, well, I'm I'm with the man. Like, let me know. I was like, I'm looking to get into pre-code horror, like golden age books, like what do you recommend? And we were shopping around, and then uh oh, we found man. this Tales of the Mysterious Traveler number uh, number three. It's a Steve Dicko cover. So I was just like kind of like I was like That's when I saw the man. That's really nice. Yeah, That's awesome shape, man. Yeah, so when I saw that, I was like, kind of like, oh, I gotta have this. So that's awesome. Yeah, yeah. Um, want to give a shout out to Phil for helping me. You know, Sanctum was right behind them, and they were having a buy two get one free on, on like their different covers. And I was like, I was like, sweet. I've been like, because I was asking people at New York, I was like, oh, do they have these? Do they have these? And then, you know, they were at the you know Baltimore, so I was like, oh, the that's a big relief. So, hey, can I can I give Phil a shout out too? If it's the sh the shout out to Phil segment, real yeah, quick, go for it. Um, Phil Phil hooked me up with this uh, Dan Quintana um, bubble gum. Uh, oh wow, um, it's so beautiful, man. Hell it's yeah, so cool. So uh, it was a super hot book at at NYCC, and um, and uh, anyways, thank you, Phil, man. You're the man. Yeah, it's a that's a nice cover, man. That should be a nine eight, man. They all had that little uh, that thing on the on the bindery on the top corner. So, yeah, yeah the nice man. shark, cover, man. All right, so fast forward to the last day, and everyone was like, "They're like, Aaron, have you been to Carl's booth yet? Have you been to Carl's booth?" And I was like, "No, like, someone show me where that is." And I think uh, Steve took me over there. So here are some of the books I picked up from from Carl. So. Uh, the Woods Number One. Uh, this is a early James Tynion book. Um, oh, here are the other two that from the buy two get one free. So I decided to go go two foils, one uh, uh, sketch uh, color splash cover. Oh, 
Uh, all right. These aren't from Carl's booth, but this this is a funny story. Uh, so this guy had his books marked off at, at half off uh, at the front of his, uh, his, on his long box. And I was like, okay. So I picked up uh, two Lady Killer number ones for oh, nice. 20 bucks a piece. And then I also picked up the boys number two for five dollars and then like as soon as the guy saw me pull him he was just like kind of like man like i i should have gone through that box beforehand but he's like i'm gonna honor the deal so i was like all the, right cool. those those lady killers look like nine eights aaron yeah i'm excited like it scared me when uh when we took it out of the bag at at, at the booth that like it looked like it was messed up at at the top on one but it ended up just being like a ripped bag that had like a piece of plastic folded over it. Yeah. So I was like, "Ooh." Um, shout out to uh, Jack DeMeo. Um, he loves my positive attitude towards the whatnot stuff. So he gave me this as a thank you. No, that's nice, man. Yeah, yeah. So I mean, it was just cool to like interact with him in person, because um, you know, it's one thing to like you know always message people or uh you know doing video conferences like this and then i have one more store folio to go through and then i will pass it off to someone else uh, okay so yeah and this one has like more of the books that i picked up from carl so i love picking up magic covers and then yeah. like you know with the anniversary wraparound like no brainers yeah yeah so dude that's a Does hard book to find them? bro huh that yeah, uh, yeah, it was a hard book to find, and I was just wondering, um, does she have the sword on that cover? Yeah, so it's like towards the back, but it's like in motion. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Um, a lightsaber effect. Yeah. yeah, like these are hard to find in my area. Like I could never find this, and then it's a classic has... cover, man. That book's so beautiful. Yeah, so I was like, this is a no-brainer. I probably should have picked up an extra one because I think he had another one in there. <laughs> I love picking up this book. Uh, it's like, because you know how much I love The Killing Joke. Uh, this is probably like one of the most unknown books that are like considered into that like homage or uh, I don't want to say it ties into it, but yeah, this is a uh, Birds of Prey 121. Um, I'm still looking for a second print, but you know, might as well pick up a uh, Spider Man 234 while I can. So, this is the A cover. So, I'm sure I'll find the second print at some point in time. Um, uh, this is from that, uh, was it oh, Captain, oh, yeah. Captain Jacks? Is that that had that dollar bin, right, Phil? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, this is a Orzu cover. So, I was like, uh, oh, that's yeah. awesome. Carter would be proud, man. He really loves Punk Mambo. Yeah. So, uh, you oh, know, yeah. I, I found this early into the con that was a, a booth that was right next to the flip side. Uh, it's hard to pass up on this. Uh, I know Tony's big on this book. They also had one. So, I dude, like, you made a killing, bro. I know, right? <laughs> I'm, I'm so I, jealous, man. I've been looking for this book for a while now, but for like, you know, for 20 bucks, I was like, kind of like, oh, yes. Like, I now have like all the alias keys and yeah, it's, it's just fun. Um, first appearance of the Purple Man. The re, the, the re, right? Because he showed up in Daredevil 4 way back, like way, way, way back when, right? That, 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 or is, is it the same, is it the same character that, or, or is it they like reinvent him in that for that issue? For I'm not like, sure, to be completely honest. I have to do some research. Hold on, one second. Go ahead, go ahead. All right. Uh, just a random uh, booth I stopped at. Uh, they had like some Star Wars books for five bucks. So <laughs> I was like, "That's the best one, too, dude." That's a yeah. that's a steal, bro. Yeah. So for five dollars, I was just like, kind of like, <laughs> I I keep complaining. And I showed Phil as soon as I picked this up, and he was like, "He's like, dude, that's an incentive." I was like, I was like, "Dang, that's awesome." So. Um, Dude, that is a hard book to find in a high grade, bro. I heard they're starting to pop up in the Walmart packs now, though. 
Really? Uh, that uh, that particular incentive? Yeah. Wow. Um, you know, oh, JTC yeah. like negative like for five bucks. Like I thought this was oh, really cool. God. Yeah, I, I, I think I bought out. one. Yeah, I think I bought one from Phil, man. Oh, really? Yeah, what, did book. you have that on whatnot, Phil? You, no, I did not have that recently. It, it was either you or Big Leg that I bought that from. Okay, probably Big Leg. All right. And then, you know, I like picking oh, up Noto yeah. books too. Like when I saw this for five, I was like, kind of like, because everyone else had it for like 10, 15, 20 bucks. And I was like, it's for probably five. the same, the same, the same uh, series you were talking about. Um, okay. Yeah. Like he did like, they're all qualifiers. I got to just do the work on them. But, um, um, but yeah, that that's awesome, man. And then I love picking up this book like whenever I see it. Yeah. So for five, I was like, I can't complain. Like so all in all, like I don't I don't I wanna say I didn't dig too hard at Baltimore, but from the places I did skim through, you like killed it, man. You killed yeah, it. I felt like I did pretty good. So real quick, I don't I, I'm not, I don't flash a lot of silver, but isn't this purple man? Like I, I know that like they reintroduced him and I and I know and I have that book too, and I know it and I know it is like it's definitely a key, but is this this it, it's the same guy, right? Did they, did, I would, well, you I would know, imagine you're more of the silver guy, but yeah, I've never. Um, yeah, I mean, maybe they updated right his costume, right? But mm. uh, I've yeah, never I, heard of anyone saying it's a different character. I from the, uh, I read that whole Marvel series. I don't. I'm gonna I'm gonna have to look that to look that one up. But I know that's a tough book, um, but I never. Honestly, until Aaron said that, I never actually connected the dots. Um, I'm gonna have to look Definitely. that one up because I've, I've got that one too, and it's a, it's it's not an easy one. I mean, those alias books were not; they did not have a huge print run on on those alias books, man. I, I, I loved that run, like loved that. Yeah. Um, All right, Joe or Phil? All right, I, I'll go. I'll go. All right, go 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 ahead. Go ahead. Because Phil's probably got some freaking heat man <laughs> no no not no no not what you think it's not this time so like until i'm kind of like long short like i'll go down a rabbit hole on on some shit so you know everybody was so overpriced over there except the flip side table which uh offered a lot of and 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 phil's booth you know i bought uh uh a warlock number one from phil i'm pressing it right now or else i'd have it but so let me see. We start off here. So I went to this guy's booth. Of course, he didn't have his books uh, priced. He didn't have his books priced, and and that's always a a bad sign. But I said, screw it. I pulled this one. This is uh, oh yeah, man. The number two has always been a. Uh, this is the first like super high grade I've gotten on a number two. So, I mean, it's a clean copy. It's like he never, dude, the boards, I was at the flip side table taking the books out and the boards were freaking yellow, dude. So that's how long that book had been in there. And then uh, this is one I showed you, uh, Ben, on uh, IG. Yeah, that's awesome, man. Just high grade copy too, man. And just phenomenal art. The Sisterhood of Steel, like the early epic Marvel just a beautiful cover, man. Number one. And then um, uh, John Z made me a deal on. No, uh, oh, man. I You know what? I bought one of those from John Z, too, man. He sold me a copy of one. Really? Of yeah. Dude, I, like I saw it almost like, are you serious? I got to have it's... it. And then, um, dude, I got this for about five bucks, man. Nice. Jim Lee. Jim Lee goodness. And then I got this for a dollar. Silk number one, uh, Scotty Young. I was like, you got to be kidding, dude. Like, I was so like, okay. I, I want to go on record saying that there's going to be a wave of Scotty Young collectors, I think, here. Like, he's been doing those books for so long, and it's going to catch on because some of them are ghosts. Oh, yeah, dude. Uh, I picked up another copy for a dollar. Yeah. Wrote on Adam Hughes, number Beautiful. one. Um, I think that's the story they're going to use too on the show. And then, of course, one of my all-time favorites, uh, just a beautiful Adam Hughes 
uh, cover. It's just, man, I could stare at that all day, man. <laughs> were, were, were you on an Adam Hughes kick, uh, kick, dude, or what? Yeah, dude. So, uh, uh, I got an, I got another one because I told Robert that I would uh, give him one, and I only have like five copies, so I, I picked up another one. This one is a very underrated book, man. It's That's phenomenal awesome. art. I, it's uh, Oh my God, uh, la, 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 la. Misty Knight. Yeah, Misty Knight LaRocca. So yeah. LaRocca Goodness. Was that a cover A? I don't remember that book. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. It's a cover A. It's super hard to find. This one's going to Robert. Shout out Robert Fordham. I got you, bro. And then um where is it? Where is it? Hold on. Oh, I a danger girl number one. Mama, J. Scott Campbell. Uh, let's see. Hold on. Oh, I picked up uh, this She-Hulk, Greg Land, oh, for a dollar. Oh, I have seen that one before. Yeah, I got that right. one for a dollar. What issue is that? Uh, issue number 26. Oh, I should have cool. picked up. I should have, you know, I'm kicking myself. I should have just took all these She-Hulks, man. So he had a little run of She-Hulk. I should have just bought them all, dude. But, They're going to move. I mean, they'll, they'll move when the show hits, no question. Oh, here they are. So this I got a kick out of. Check this out, Ben. This is Spandex Tights number one. <laughs> That's a Hughes, right? Yeah. Yeah. It's it's uh like I had never seen it before. I, so I, so I got on eBay and they had a Nash can. So I went ahead and bought that. <laughs> and then um so spoof comics. Yeah. That I picked up that one. And I found a newsstand. <laughs> so you sold those things on the newsstand? Yeah, dude, that is fucking weird, man. So got into the adult section. Could have been, yeah. What the fuck? I had no idea. There it is. Can you see? Yep. Okay, and then I picked up uh, Dare Dame, Dare Dame, Adam Hughes. Does that have the card in it? Uh, no, but I ordered one on eBay that does. <laughs> when I, nice. I was I was researching, I was looking on eBay, and I saw that one had poly bag, and I was like, "Shit, I'm gonna order that." And then uh, I did the same thing, and these were at two different tables. What are the odds, dude? So one newsstand and one regular cover. And Sweet. like the ink on on this one is like super rich, and this one is a little toned down. And then, they don't give uh, the good ink to the newsstand, just the direct. And then what do I do with it? Oh, okay, and then uh, I put this on our Prospect Ten. Uh, this is an early reveal, I guess. This is the Mass Rider. This is the newsstand variant. It is effing scarce, right? And so I've never like, seen that book, man. Me neither. Like the minute I pulled it, I go, holy shit, I've never seen this. And uh, I, I I showed Phil, I showed Aaron, I showed Nico. Nico had never seen it. And then I was like, shit, it's a newsstand. So I, I uh, early appearance of uh, the Power Rangers. Right. But it's the first time uh, the mass writer there and Power Rangers had ever been uh, in a comic. Right. So I think for it's Marvel, a, right? Uh, well, they had a Marvel movie uh, uh, adaptation or something like that, but then this was like in all intents, it this was a one shot. But I think they had um, lost the rights to it after this book, and um, but yeah, it, I mean, just an early appearance, cool cover, so. Yeah, that yeah. I felt like this was a score. I checked online and somebody was selling it for like 175, 150. And what did you it, pull it for, Joe? Uh, I got it for a dollar. Jeez, man, well done. Holy, yeah, and it's like, what do you want for this? He, he goes, and eh, because I had some other books too, so he let me have them for a buck, let this one go for a buck, and then uh, went to my LCS and I. Picked up the Nubia foil, nice. kind of, and then, so when I got home, 
I, I wanted that mass rider. So. <laughs> wow. <laughs> That's the direct though, right? Yeah, it's the direct, but it's the only nine six, and it's the highest graded on the census. There's only two graded copies, and there's no newsstand graded yet. I'm going to send my newsstand in. Nice man. But you know, who I I think it's cool, you know, because it's like nobody's. I I haven't heard anybody talk about it. Like, it's not going to be a million dollar book, you know. But I just think it's it's one of those scarce books that you know. Well, is, cool. is the mass rider part of of Power Rangers, or is he like a separate character that crossed over? Or? Yeah, he's a. I thought he was a separate character. So Sabin's mass rider was a, like a show. Uh, right is that right? Yeah. yeah, Cayman Rider. It's a ripoff of Cayman Rider. Cayman yeah. Rider. Wow. Yeah. So I mean, there's there's the chance that they could reboot, right? I mean, once once yeah. IP, like it's always IP, right? I mean. Oh yeah, and, and this is the last one. This is a Michael Turner. I I love this cover, and it was super high grade. One that I had what had some spine ticks in it, so like it's pretty good shit. One mm -hmm. well, one little thing there. God damn it! <laughs> All right, yeah, we're good. <laughs> it's oh, and I got that too. Look at that homage. So I saw it, and I was like, oh, God yeah. damn! Like I I didn't I had. Maybe I didn't look hard enough, and I don't remember this, but I think it's pretty cool. Like, it's one of like the only time they redid this, right? As far as uh, that's the only one I've ever seen. Yeah, yeah. so it's pretty cool. Okay, I'm done. Oh no, wait, last one. Uh, this one's for you, uh, Ben. So I found the second print oh, at nice. half price books. Like when I got back into town. So I don't know what it goes for, but I picked it up. It's it's pretty tough actually. I, I, I twice I tried to buy the second print online. The guys show it, send me the first print. I'm like, he's like, where did I say it was a second print? I'm like, the picture you have up is a second. This is not the book you sent me. He's like, well, send it back then if you don't want it. I'm like, oh, what a pussy, dude. Whatever. Do you need it? I'll send it to you, bro. No, I I I, I tracked one down. Thank you, man. Oh, I appreciate okay. it. All right. Oh, last one. You ever seen that one, Ben? Yeah, that's cool. Motopia. Oh, that is cool. It's a variant. Uh, I don't know who the that one guy looks like Quentin Tarantino or something like that. But <laughs> it does look like QT. Does it? Yeah. Okay, that's it. Is that the woman in the red dress? Uh, <laughs> it looks like Marilyn Monroe. <laughs> oh yeah, and and then for Phil, I picked up a Adam Warlock trading card variant. Nice. So that's a, a good pickup. That's a good yeah, pickup. That's a sleeper. And then I picked that up too. So oh, yeah. <laughs> for Steve. <laughs> yeah, for Steve. Yeah, Steve. There you go. All right, I'm done. All right. Welcome in, Steve. Phil, Steve. I don't know. Thanks. Who's up? Uh, uh yeah, I'll go. I, I Steve probably has a pile of books, so uh, <laughs> maybe I have almost a short box, but I didn't I didn't get quite there. Um so definitely I want to say uh shout out to the Tales from the Flip Side crew. Um, it's, it was real fun getting to meet, uh, Joe and Aaron and then Steve, um, you know, we, we've met over the summer. Um, and we, sometimes we just had the chance, uh, our, you know, do, uh, pick up dates, you know, right. and, uh, <laughs> and we pick up books together on, uh, did you say you were happy to meet me, Phil? Yeah, I was happy to meet you, man. Holy shit. This is yeah. like the first time I've heard somebody. <laughs> Say that. Yo, you know, hey, there's other there people that didn't you too. Can bring up my name. It was a pleasure to meet all of you guys. Oh yeah, definitely. I fucking love you guys, man. Yeah, Code Zero okay. shot you out on the Hot Ten last night, bro. Who? Yeah, Code Zero, the guy who sold me that uh, Shang Chi, um, that yeah. Shang Chi book. Yeah, 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 yeah. Marvel Special Edition. But um. Yeah, so it's um definitely wanted to give a shout out to lead off because it was fun digging with you guys. Like it's a different experience. I got to dig with Steve. Um uh and Steve was very helpful. He helped me uh he offered to help load in um at Baltimore Comic Con and you know, in exchange, uh was able to get him a, a vendor badge and uh 
you know, some people, they just don't, they just want a vendor badge just to dig. They don't give me anything, you know? So, <laughs> you know, um, so that was really cool uh, to dig with Steve. And he was also my little scout as well. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. When certain booths opened up um, on, on Thursday, just, he was, he just gave me a heads up. And uh, the first stop was uh, Victory Comics. And uh, there was a lot of, uh, there was a couple videos from New York Comic Con from Victory. Um, they uh there was this guy pulling like silver age wonder women's for like two bucks it was crazy um on his on his uh youtube video and um so i picked up a stack from uh victory and uh i stuck to just picking up books uh pre-show um or before the show opened um love that one so yeah, uh, this is Uncanny Avengers 12, and uh, I also found this at To Be, to be Continued uh, Comics. I didn't pick theirs up. It was a little bit more pricey, but uh, Daryl over there nicknamed this uh, Kang on the Beanbag variant. <laughs> <laughs> and you know, if there was a variant, like people bullshit. would go nuts for it. Yeah, you know? yeah, Kang on the Beanbag. So I picked up one of those. Um, here's a Jason Shaw book. Uh, the Doctor Fate cameo, the Junior, yeah. So Convergence, zero. Uh, Convergence Aquaman zero. Oh, number two, number two. Uh, let's see. Uh, Profit one. That uh, Jake in the hall is gonna what star in it, right? So why not two bucks? It's a good pickup. Um, two copies of Dark Horse Comics one. Yep. Yeah. Oh wow. So that, that goes for money. And you know, it's hard. Like, you kind of get discouraged when you have, like, 10, 15, 20 dealers that have already went through the long boxes. And we're still finding stuff. So I was at the end. Um, I went after Steve, I think. I'm not sure if you ran into this one. Um, I Yeah. I'm not uh, sure either. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And then, you know, you got to be selective because you don't want to, like... You know, I mean, you don't want to overbuy, right? Right. Uh, G.I. Joe 63 newsstand. Oh, I remember when you got that. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, beautiful zinc cover. Yeah, I don't know if this goes for anything. Big, oh, but yes, it does. It, yes, does? it does? Okay. Um, Marvel Fanfare 11. I love that cover, man. Yeah. yeah two bucks can't roll wrong. It's a $10 book. Um you know, Ben was doing those uh, miles, mentioning the Marvel milestone. This is Amazing Adventures. Um, this is the uh, a reprint of X Men One in different yeah, colors. That, that, that is an undervalued book, big time, bro, big time. Yeah, it actually goes for money. Actually, like maybe not twenty bucks. Not like it should. That should be like a hundred dollar book in high grade nine eight easy. Mm. It, it should be. First Forge, X Men 184, two bucks. Oh, yeah. Like, uh, someone was cleaning out the Wolverine books. I'm like, motherfucker, you know? <laughs> I had to go after the, you always have to go after someone and you're just like, oh man, like, you know, and then someone picked up an uh, X Factor uh, five, four uh, cameo of uh, Apocalypse. So, I mean, hey, you know, two bucks, Suicide Squad spec, right? Right. Oh, Viola Davis's character, right? So I'm like, all right, first appearance. Why not? Two bucks. Yeah, she's uh, coming out in that that show with um, John Cena. Bio, Peacemaker. Oh, Bio, yeah, Peacemaker. Oh, she is. Oh, okay, that's uh -huh. cool. Good to know. Good to know. Uh, Steve was like, "Hey, Phil, you gotta check out the Star Wars bots, man." So I'm yeah. Like, <laughs> I was like, you know, Steve was like, oh, I got some stuff, but you know, Star Wars more than me. And I'm like, all right, all right, let me see if I can find anything because. People dig in the people love dig, digging Star Wars, um, just to find like something like that's cheap and then you can flip for like 20 bucks, right? So, I picked up uh three copies of Star Wars 4, uh, this first appearance of Sana Staros, so uh, an amazing uh, black lead, um, for the new uh Marvel Star Wars, and she's lately in the Afro series, um. She's also in this book. I this might be the first full appearance, maybe. And I got the third print, Star Wars Six. Cool. She's something in this book. I forget. Um, I have like fifty copies of this, but fuck it, two bucks. Who cares? You know, <laughs> Princess Leia one second print. 
um, it's the first appearance of a pilot that um, I think she uh, shares the same residence as Princess Leia on the same planet, and uh, it could be. Uh, oh, for yeah. the the movie, right? Yeah, Rogue Squadron speculation. So she, uh, that character, man, I can't remember off the top of my head, but um, it's on the CBS I Star Wars list. But uh, yeah, she shows up again in uh, the what second, third, second volume of Star Wars. So she's an important character. Um, man, I, 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 I yep. finally picked up the uh, Scotty Young variant for that for that the Princess Leia. And uh, if you don't know, it's a part of a three-part connecting set with the Star Wars and Darth Vader one, um, where you put all three together and it connects. And I was just like so happy to finally piece it all together. Um, cool, man. Um, I think Steve may have nominated the variant of this book or the book before it, the uh, droids cover, Doctor. Oh Afro. right, yeah, I love that Did droids you know, cover. Was that the same issue as this one? I'm not sure. I can't remember. Well, um, this is an awesome cover. It's super cheap, and I may actually have to nominate this on the prospect one day. Um, but it's uh, Doctor Afra too, and it's the first appearance of uh, her father. So. Oh right, yeah, we have done that before. Is that yeah. a second yeah, print? Yeah, have. No, I think it's, so. no, it's, it's, it's it looks like a second print, but the right. color is actually blue. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Her father is responsible for um, her getting uh, kicked out of uh, school. So, and then she goes on her adventures with her dad. Uh, another first appearance here. This this character in the background, the spider and the giant, was supposed to be in uh, one of the movies, but now they, they threw him in the comic. So that's Vader 8. Uh, good timing with the blunt, Blood Syndicate. Uh, two bucks in the, in the poly poly bag so that was before dc fandom uh oh i got another one of these oh like, man yeah so that's i mean that goes for 20 bucks and then uh yeah this was peeking out of the box <laughs> 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 well, I think you saw this a certain same time i picked I, he, he was digging right beside me and i just i just pulled it out and i'm like oh man bucky will hear one um shit so yeah, yeah uh, that was a good find Oh yeah. So that was, that was Victory Comics. Let's go. Let's see. Um, let me do Carl's booth. Ion Comics. So I'm giving Ion Comics a, a shout out. Carl, my main man. Um, he's super cool. Um, he's been in the game for I think maybe 20, 25 years, and he's been like picking just like us, like like uh, Copper Age and uh, Modern new comic book day stuff exclusives and he just has stacks and stacks of desirable covers and key books so we were talking about oh, scotty yeah. young nice yeah that's yeah. a good book yep. yeah it's hard to find yeah so i think i got this from carl um yeah so i paid a penny for it but uh gotta do that reread you know and yeah uh got some hip-hop covers from carl um Dude, Carl had some heat, dude. I wish yeah. I would have spent more time over there. Yeah. Well, the the crazy thing was I had missed his booth the first two days. And then I finally, like, everyone was like, did you go dig through Carl's booth? And then I, I asked Steve. I was like, Steve, where's Carl's booth? And yeah, then, I, I was the guide for a lot of people. You know, I, you know, all I had to do was hear Carl's booth. And I was like, here, let me take you over there. Because <laughs> I actually missed it, like, the first day because he was like, on an end cap sort of and mm. uh, so i didn't even get to carl's booth the first day <laughs> yeah, super nice guy super oh nice yeah guy, yeah definitely a big big supporter of the channel too and then also um it was funny the day that steve took me he had just replenished his his boxes wow yeah, carl was local so you see him um there's a fredericksburg show um he does that um, every month, and then uh, he's been showing up the, at the shops and in Dale show that I sometimes do shows with when I can. So he's also there too. Um, so hip hop covers, I got Ben Riley, the Scarlet Spider Man. So that was a cool cover. Black Knight. Nice. Venom Space Knight. 
Cool. Um, this is a really cool Mike Del Mundo cover. The uh, oh yeah, yeah. I and, love that cover. Yeah, this was plentiful before. It was like six bucks, like all around everywhere, and then now it's been it's blown up. Um, I I paid up. I got the Miss Marvel. The uh, prison. <laughs> That's a good one. I mean, man, this is an unexpected prison cover. You know. Uh, yeah. Got to get a Moon Girl at least. I gotta get at least one. You know. <laughs> Steve, that's the <laughs> first parents of that is what the Steven dinosaur, whatever. Devin, 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 dinosaur? Devin. Okay. All right. More Scotty Young goodness. I paid up for this one. The she Dude, that, I've never that's seen that. That's hard to find one. Hell yeah, that's man. He had that. Yeah, I paid up though. I paid up, man. This and oh, the Riri wow. were, were priced at forty bucks a pop. So that's not bad. I would have paid 40 bucks. Yeah, yeah. And you know, Carl generally has pretty good condition books. You know, they're high grade. Hell yeah. Um okay, so to be continued comics. Um so I picked up uh yeah, three books. So these were 130 altogether. So I got the Miss Marvel one first print. Um the legacy, um one. It's the third, third print, print, Adam Hughes, right? Yep. Yeah. And uh, first amulet, so 130, and he hooked it up, hooked it up, gave me 100 bucks for the package. So that I think that point. amulet book's going to have legs. I think that character is either rumored or, or heavily rumored to be in the show, um, and, and she needs a cast of characters to be right. So, um, yeah, yeah. They've updated the character, right? He's on. He's been on some new. Is he's been on some Black Panther or Wakanda books or something? Lately? Yeah, I thought. I thought he crossed over in, in one of the latest issues. It might have been Black yeah. Panther. So that that's that's really good to know because you know already some of the the characters are crossing over, right, with uh, Riri and uh, Black Panther, right? So. So uh, let me see. I got okay. Let's. Jason Hamlin's booth. Um, got the Star Wars Chewbacca, uh, Scotty Young, and I got a really nice copy of Sweet Tooth One. Um, that was like ninety bucks. I picked up two of these from him at, at New York Comic Con. So I think this is a nice book that's kind of stuck around. Um, mm -hmm. You know, I know Aaron hates Netflix spec, but you know, I have to do it. I like the I like the <laughs> show. You know, no, I enjoyed Net or er, er, Sweet Tooth. That was a really good like series. Like, yeah, but I mean, it is what it is, right? With Netflix spec, right, 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 right. But uh, I mean, okay. there's there's always books that you know are exceptions to the rule. Yeah, yeah. Um, that rare deal was one of them. Um, yeah. So. Yeah. Okay, so here was my big find of the show was uh, a new Avengers two thirty two for two bucks um, <laughs> at the wow. Reese's yeah the Reese family uh, Greg Reese booth and uh, shout out to the Greg Reese booth they always uh, bring two dollar longs that are new that they've picked up in collections and they do it once a year in Baltimore and uh, yeah this is the first appearance of Star Fox's arrows right. And uh, this was like, a, this is a 9 8 contender. And I actually mm. went up to them and I said, you know, uh, I'm just letting you guys know that you guys made a mistake. <laughs> but it's in my hands. And if you guys come to my booth later, I'm going to hook you guys up. And on, on Sunday, they wrote me a check for $6,400 and bought a, a bunch of my wall books. So I totally hooked it up with them. You know, we always have a good relationship too, but yeah, like that, that's like a nine hundred fifty dollar book in nine eight in a in a record price. Um, I was with uh, I was with Joe and Aaron um, at the Cars Comics and Collectibles booth, and uh, I pulled this for twenty bucks. Avengers forty seven. Wow. I mean, it's beat, it beat the fuck right, and then whoop, got another one. <laughs> <laughs> VG was that copy, right? But four bucks, you know. Was that right before the con opened? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, remember when we were walking, walking around? Mm. Yeah. Phil, Phil was trying to get rid of me, dude, so he could go score those books, dude. Yeah, go over there. Yeah, go over <laughs> there, Joe. Joe uh, the DC books are on the other side. Yeah, look, look, look at those books, Joe. Go. <laughs> well, I was like, hey, Joe, you get the next one. I'll find the next one for you. But yeah, to see Phil and and Aaron in action, man, those guys are killers, dude. That was pretty cool. 
Um, here's another the, another find from another booth. Uh, I had to circle back around to get this book. Um, and I don't even know. It was priced for 35 but I checked out, and it was like 28 bucks. Uh, so this is a, a third incarnation of Kang, um, first appearance in this book. Avengers Annual, King Size. King Size Avengers 2. So uh, you got to have this. Ca I can't remember his name off the top of my head. Damn it. I am. My, my brain is uh, freezing here. Um, so I got that. Uh, let's see. What's next? Um, so I went to the AWA book. I was, uh, and I found they had this last copy of Chariot. Uh, Beautiful. It was on Sunday. Yeah. They actually oh. had a stack of Chariot books. Bro, call, I, was, I was there. They they had that book there. <laughs> yeah, yeah. They brought it out. It was on Sunday, and it was on the table. And I'm like, I didn't see this book. Like, yeah, this is the last one. I'm like, bro. It was, I think it was that they Asian chick. You up, bro. Yeah, it was that <laughs> Asian chick that was selling you like bunches of books, bro. I yeah. know, dude. She was awesome. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like we were talking about her uh, last night at uh, on Drunken Chat because like. She met Lucas and like they, they had to exchange emails before and all that, but yeah. Okay. Really yeah, nice lady, man. Yeah, I don't know if it was Candace Wu or uh, there was another girl named Jackie. So um, yeah, they were super cool. Like this booth, man. Like AWA, they're like super motivated, man. Like everyone was all on the same page with each other, and um, they were telling me about Fight Girls. Um, they were the ones. They're telling like, yeah, so Chariot's gonna get Chariot's gonna get a movie. And uh, Fight Girls is going to go to market after the next issue. And they're like, yeah, we can't go and shop it around right now unless until we finish this, the story arc. It doesn't make sense, right? So um, it's been a really good read. I like it. I think uh, um, they were actually joking around with uh, Frank Cho that, oh, yeah, this could be the next Squid Game. And I'm like, I, <laughs> you know, I mean, hey, who knows? Uh, Sanctorium was my neighbor at... Um, Baltimore Comic Con, they're right behind me. And uh, I took advantage and I got six copies. Um, buy is, two, is get this one. Is the original foil runs they produced yes. or are these new? Yes. So, you know, obviously, when you see something like this, right, at a booth and th this book, right, like something is killing the children, one, you kind of you have to ask questions like, why do you have, why do you still have copies of this? So, um, definitely a shout out to them. Um, this is a mom and pop shop. So did, um, did they answer that question? Why they did. They, they did. Them? They did. So um, the wife is actually Asian. Uh, I think she, I, she's Asian. I'm not. Sh I thought she was Filipina. I'm not totally sure, but um, she's like she is the horse of this company. She is the owner. So I've never, you know, when I see uh, an Asian. Um, someone with an Asian background as an owner of a shop, like I just kind of pause and freeze. Cause there's not many of us, you know, that do the con circuit and she has her own retail shop. And uh, obviously, you know, she, so she's really smart. And she was like, yeah, I, uh, I saved these, I saved these. And she doesn't have that much left. Um, she had them at New York comic con. Javin Jordan bought, did got in on this deal. Um, so I did too. Um, I told Aaron about it. I told Comic Andy too. So yeah, you didn't tell me about it. Oh, <laughs> well, asshole, oh, well, Phil told me like what? I think you told me Sunday morning. You're like, you're like, hey, stop by the booth, like. And I was like, okay. And then you're like, oh, you Yo. were gone already, Joe. You were already. Gone. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you're already good, gone man. already, man. But oh, um, yeah. yeah. Um, but yeah, man, they're all nine eight contenders. Um, and they're they're still available at the shop online. So they're three twenty five online right now. So um, definitely take advantage of that. Um, I had some trades that came on at the booth. I tried to be really really good. Um, I tried to buy wall books, but people weren't really really willing to work with me, man. So even though I was a vendor at the at the show, so I did get um, so, an amazing Spider Man wait. one. Yep. Go ahead, Joe. No, some people were way overpriced uh, versus eBay. And I'm like, what the fuck, bro? 
Like, do you not want anybody to buy your shit? Like, that yeah. didn't make sense to me. Yeah, That's there's what... some, yeah. Definitely some museum booths. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, um, you know, the difference between this show in New York was uh, people were scared. They had huge, huge overheads, right? And, uh, you know, a lot of people were priced at market. You know, very Gary Comics, like, he was priced at market. Like, just Absolute Comics was pretty fairly priced compared to what he usually prices his stuff for. Um, I mean, people wanted to have a good show, so they set themselves up price-wise to have a good show at NYCC Baltimore. Everyone's local, you know, like, I mean, there's no overhead. We just show up, you know, with our vans and pickup trucks or minivans, whatever, and we set up and we don't have to pay hotel, you know, except for some of the guys in Ohio. And there's some people that come from Florida, but I didn't, I didn't see them at this show. Um, so I had some trades. Um, so I got a Tales of Suspense 77, first Peggy Carter, and an X-Men... 49 first Polaris and VG. Um, that came in a trade. Um, and Joe has the other two books an ASM 101 and a Tales of Suspense book with uh, first appearance of Pepper Potts and uh, Happy Hogan, which is about I like have, a $70. Book. I have those yeah, books? yeah, I gave you those books to press. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm all, what are you talking about, Phil? Damn, I should have took a picture before I sent. No, nah, I took pictures of all of them, bro. I got you, bro. <laughs> yeah, so that's under the press right now. And I also picked up another ASM 121 for 350, which is about like a very fine minus You picked condition. up two of them, right? Oh, I had one in the mail call. Oh, okay. So the other one in the mail call was a 6.5. So this came in another trade. Um, same guy came in, X-Men 133. Um, first solo Wolverine, first Gorgon. These are all original collection. I didn't even open these out of the bag yet. They all look real nice. Uh, first Apocalypse, X Factor 6. Another uh, Kang book, Origin of Ramatut, uh, Giant Size Avengers 2. So those were really nice shape. Um, really, really happy with those books. Uh, there was one more stock that I had, and this guy, um, really nice guy, modern. He, he sold like seventeen thousand book, uh, seventeen point five k worth of books, like uh, pre-show almost, just about. Uh, and he just literally, this guy has like, you got to pay a little bit, but he's got like all nine eights, man, like or nine four candidates. So, um, I got. Two AF tens, the uh, first Amadeus Cho. Two, one was three hundred, the other one was a hundred bucks. So, I was super happy with that. So, four hundred dollars for two of those. I went back and I grabbed a stack, and all these he had priced for thirty one fifty, three thousand one hundred fifty, and I was like, dude, man, like some of these prices are just. You know, like you give. I mean, these some of these prices are just not what they're going for. The market's really wild right now. It's been up and down. Um, since I beat them up a bit, I'm not gonna name the dealer, but I knock them down to thirteen hundred for all these books. Uh, so I had got five copies of First Jenica, and some of these he had up for a hundred dollars up on the wall. The ones in the short boxes were like fifty bucks. One. And took two bags here, two comics in one bag here. This was twenty bucks. New Agents of Atlas number one is kind of calmed down right now. Uh, twenty bucks. That, yeah, that sounds that good. That was in the store box. Yeah. Uh, Silk one second mm -hmm. print. Yeah, Dude, that's those. a smart like, fucking buy right there. I though. like those a lot. Yeah, tw twenty a piece. So I didn't. I didn't knock them down on that. I just killed them on the. Uh, <laughs> I told him on the Ninja Turtles, I'm like, dude, you got to be at like 35 bucks a piece for me to buy this and reflip this. You know, I was being there, honest. There's not many. There's not many second prints on the census. I've got oh, I've yeah. got two nine eights, and I think the when I when I got mine graded, there was only like ten or eleven. Canto one. 
Ooh, nice. So I knocked wow. him down to like, oh, I don't know. I knocked him, man. I yeah, I was like, dude, you got to be like hundred bucks each, man. So I can't. <laughs> but he had him for three hundred each. So they, man, I think they go are, for one fifty right now, something like those that. Those are high grade, bro. Yeah, they're high grade. I'm gonna I'm gonna send them to you, Joe. <laughs> I know you Man. like that. I, I know you like to press Canto books, right? Man, no. <laughs> that that book is the equalizer, bro. Dude, Josh, fire, man. Josh sent me a fucking Canto and I almost tore it up, man. I was like, ah. dude, bro, I'm serious, dude. And that you know, that's Josh. If you know Josh, he's a he's a prank, little prankster, man. But I'm gonna try. I'm gonna try. I'm gonna try. It's got the same issue, but I'm gonna try again. Well, you could just send him back one of these and say, "Yeah, right," yeah. and see what he does, dude. Dude, uh, just a just a just a uh, just to let you know that Canto NYCC whatnot book, the paper is kind of a little bit flimsy. Oh, you okay. cannot hold that book with hands. Like you will, the 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 moisture from your hands will go into the book. So, just mm. just for just to let you know, handle that book with gloves. So okay, that's good to know. Um, uh, yeah, I haven't changed the bag or anything like that, but that's good to know. Yeah, yeah. Um, so I got some gunslinger books. I've never owned these, so nice. these were priced for like sixteen hundred at the booth, and I got them down to, I got them down to nine hundred bucks. I just, mm. yeah, I mean, I mean, Gunslinger, I mean, this book is wild up and down. I'm like, dude, I have the data, bro. Like, you know, these sell for sometimes 250 bro. you know, recently, man. But then, you know, when the book hit, like this one, I think, what, Steve, sold for like a thousand bucks or something, raw? Yeah, something. I think I, I, yeah, I think I had one of each of those in 9.8. And the, yeah, the, the earlier ones sold for close to a thousand, I think. I forget what the one, the second one sold for. Yeah, the hell yeah. of pickups, man. Jesus well, Christ, dude. And yeah. then that one seventy four, I, you know, I pointed it out to you at the con that spawn is misspelled on the side. Oh yeah. Huh. It's like Spain. Huh, I never wow. noticed that. Wow, I <laughs> never noticed that. Either. That's <laughs> awesome, dude. Yeah, so that's on every copy. Like, so they didn't oh. call it. Oh, yeah, oh yeah. okay, okay. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I didn't open these books up. I, I, I really didn't. I don't know what condition they are. I was just like, this guy's like becoming a legend of having like freaking bra nine eights, nine sixes, nine fours. I'm like, I don't need to open them. I just, I just buy them because he's a collector first, and uh, you know, you're never gonna get anything under an like a nine from from this dude. And I just, you know, I just said, hey, these are the market prices for a high grade and. You know, I gotta make money as a dealer, and you just sometimes you just gotta be frank to these dealers, man. Like, don't have your phone out, like freaking looking every single book under key collector, or you know, <laughs> a key collector is a good tool. It's a good tool. It has prices, right? And you know, they have a formula to get the prices right for low, mid, and high. But it's like, dude, like you just show up at the at the box, and you're on the phone, and you have other people right behind you. We're still going up, uh, under a pandemic. And you're just holding up the freaking line, man. It's like you can't get anywhere because this this guy's like looking up every single issue that he thinks could be hot. And yeah. you know, I'm I, like, that, oh, that's I, one I, thing I didn't do was pull up my phone to check anything. Yeah, and yeah. It's because I wanted it to experience like so when I was pulling those crazy Adam Hughes books and that you know I could have just checked them or whatever, but like I said, nah, fuck it, you know, just it takes you know, away the fun. You know, sometimes it's good just to pay for the mistake. Like, hey, you know what? If you made a mistake, what? Two bucks, five bucks, right. you know, 10 bucks, whatever it is. But, you know, you don't want to show a dealer, you know, your hands. But if it's okay to be like, hey, you know what? Um, Hey, my, my bargain comics. Hey, I'm also a fellow uh, dirty flipper or a dealer. And, <laughs> hey, what can you do on, on a stack of these books? Let me know what you can do because I resell them. And, uh, yeah, you know, and one of the things, too, about these shows is that, like, with so much price gouging and prices going up and people protecting their books on the wall, right, um, there's some dealers I give, you know, there's a mutual thing where dealers give each other deals, right? And sometimes that I've been hearing a lot from other dealers at the con circuit that that 
that's not reciprocal. So say like a uh, you know, Graham Crafter Comics gave they gave me a deal at Raleigh Comic Con, and uh, I was like, hey, you know, this is the first time that you see me, you know, at Baltimore, and it's reciprocal. You guys gave me a deal on an ASM fifty. Um, it's reciprocal. So whatever you guys gave me as a discount, at least you're gonna get that at my booth, you know. So um, honesty definitely is is good if you. Um, yeah, you know, um, but, you know, when people try to be, you know, try to look like they're not a flipper and stuff <laughs> and try to beat me down. Like, yeah, this is not a near mint. I see this tick, this tick, this tick. And it's just like, it's a total buzzkill. You know, it's like, I don't want to deal with you. I just almost want to kick you out of my booth, you know? So, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, I mean, honestly, like, even if you're just a collector at some point, you're going to flip that book yeah your your kid's gonna flip that book right, right. <laughs> you know so all right um steve yeah steve before you go can um can i show off something um that i forgot yeah uh okay so i'm in the process of a trade with one of our fellow dirty flippers uh blue green artifacts tony so he sent me home with this and wow. yeah i know and so oh, I definitely need to send him something good uh, to to trade for it. So I'm, I'm pretty excited that you know this has been on my want list for a while. Uh, so I'm definitely very appreciative. Does, that. does Tony have two of those? I, I don't know, to be completely God honest. God damn, because like I wouldn't, bro. If I only had one, I would yeah. still have one. How about <laughs> you know don't you I mean? have one in the picture frame behind you? So that that's a print. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. So that's just the print. And then I also wanted to show off some stuff that I got signed that, you know, obviously is not here because it's uh off to being graded. So this is a uh, Wolverine Origins number 10, the third claw signed by Casada. Cool. Um, this is a hopefully Christmas gift uh, to my brother. So Saga of One signed by uh, uh, Brian K. Vaughn. I remember that, you showed that to me in, in, it, in person. Yeah, that was cool. Yeah, and then um, that's actually the the booth I, or waiting in line for that is where I met Comic Man Andy. Oh, yeah. So huh. I, I I noticed his beard and I was like I was like Andy and he was like <laughs> yeah. and he was like Aaron, what's up? And then yeah, so he's like, good he's guy, like do man. you think? Yeah, he was like, do you think like I could film like this? I was like, I was like, I don't know, maybe. I was like, you know, you know, just I'm about to go like see if you can. And then he started talking to to Brian like in person. And was just like kind of like yeah i met you on instagram blah 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 for you know that chat he had and then this is the last thing um i got uh signed in autograph so i already had the mike zek uh remark that's in the top i guess right corner and mm -hmm. then uh i had shooter sign it and then i had bd do the uh remark here at the bottom right at the con nice. dude yeah that is awesome Wow, yeah, so, so awesome. I love those remarks. That oh, yeah, yeah. Beautiful. Book. Beautiful I, book. Yeah. And so it was, you know, I, I, I specifically chose certain people to get signatures and, and autographs from that, like, you know, they don't usually show up to cons around my area. So I was like, kind of like, all right, cool. Like, and plus, like, with Shooter and BD both being there at the same time, mm -hmm. I was like, this is a no brainer since Dude, I already had the Zek. You pretty much got everybody that had anything to do with that book. I mean, I guess uh, who else? Who else would you want on that book other than like Stan Lee? I guess right. Um, whoever the editor was at the time, I don't know. I'm just throwing yeah. a name out there. <laughs> yeah. Or maybe the hey, maybe the fan that that created the black suit. Oh right. right. Oh right? yeah. There's a lot of screw that book i hate that book right cool. they gave him like 200 bucks or something like that yeah and i found and i found out that shooter does remarks now did you know that no yeah i can only wow. imagine what it looks like but like i mean for being a writer to start breaking out into that that's kind of cool can he draw <laughs> i didn't do it so i didn't you know, know you can I always heard. ask just get a yeah. happy face, you know? I mean, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> that's what Stan Lee used to do with the spine. If he ever yeah, yeah, he would do the yeah, spidey his... happy face. Yeah, you yeah. Know? That's true. I think even I could even do that spidey face. And you guys have seen some of my art. 
Yeah, yeah. I know. Like, the, I love your to, bubblegum like, covers. So the first time I saw Stan Lee do that, it was like on the insides of the books. Mm. He would do the little happy, like on the first page. Yeah, yeah. So. Well, I think I think that new Stray Dogs book is going to have a blank, right? So you know, yeah. you got some time, Steve, until December, right? Yep. <laughs> Man, I should have gotten a remark from from Steve. All right, I was there. I gotta ju- I gotta jump on my whatnot soon i already i already moved right. it back a little oh, bit okay but, go ahead go ahead all right so I'll, I'll just do this real quick um so i wish i wish mr Longshort was still on because you know uh, no one would know about elsa bloodstone if i mean i think he's not only gwenpool's biggest fan but elsa's biggest fan so um pick that up cool elsa cover i don't have a whole lot um i think this was from the victory booth but picked up a bunch of the um Curse of the Ebony Blades, number five, right? With the Jax as the new Black Knight or sidekick, right? Nice. Uh, I still believe in um, the White Wolf, the original White Wolf, uh, because if you're reading the Legend of Black Knight or, or no, Black Panther Legends series, you know, they're, they're still um, uh, using White Knight in stories and things. So, I don't know. I, I'm I'm not not. I don't want to overpay for Black Panther number four, White Wolf, but I think this wasn't a bad. This wasn't actually thirty bucks. I think I got that thirty three percent off. Um, I think I picked this up digging with Phil in, on Thursday. The pouch because we had just talked about it <laughs> on uh, on iconic, iconic or not iconic. That's hilarious. I still don't think it's iconic, but I had to buy it. Wait, what did you pay for it, man? I think it. I think it was actually four bucks. That's so, kind of cool. Bitch. Yeah, well, it was for fifteen bucks at least. Yeah. Really shockingly. Yeah. I might as yeah. well go ahead and get it because now I kind of like that cover now, man. <laughs> right, you got to have it in your collection. I think. Uh, pick yeah. this up. I, I think really cheap. I, I I haven't opened it up. It feels like um, it's uh. Um, water damage. Do you know how you can sometimes just feel by touch, even through a bag? Mm-hmm. I think it's water Say damage, but me. I think I got it for like a dollar or fifty cents. It Say could it just be me. warping. You might get lucky. Yeah, yeah. I, I, Why don't I you should send really that to me? I'll do it for you. Yeah, I really should open it up. Uh, pick this up. I know that. I think this was on the hot ten this week, right? Yep. You know, um, uh, the picture frame covers. I just sold a lot of these on eBay, like 18 of them together and did well with them. So I'm like, you know what? I'm going to keep picking these up cheap, you know, especially the newsstands, you know. Um, it's awesome cover. Yeah. I didn't realize what this was selling for. I didn't. Uh, yeah. Yeah. But man, the free comic book day, Civil War too, man. Yeah. Not that one's pick. gone up a lot. Yeah. Surprised me. Um, do, do, do uh, I forget which booth? Okay, actually, I think it, yeah, this I know this one I picked up at the Big Planet Comics, they're a local mm. comic book chain. This is the design variant, and I think I picked up this one along with it, Good or was it this this one? Um, you know, I, I figure if they're rebooting, you know, recasting, uh, in the comics, Dark Hawk, why not, you know. Um, I know this, I want to say this maybe is one of the first, uh, you know how there's been a bunch of Crimson Dynamos. One, one of the Winter Guard, there, there's a, there's a new, new one in here, but anyhow, that, I'm not doing it justice. That's for sure. Um, <laughs> Dark Horse Comics Presents number 200 with the Hellboy. Uh, you know, it's never gonna, you know. I don't think it's ever going to be like a fifty dollar book, but you know it's what's good... what's in there. Uh, it's just that it's you know pe- people are crazy about Magnolia Hellboy covers, yeah, and it's you know with it having well, I I thought it would have a higher price, but it was only four ninety nine. But a lot of these dark dark horse presents the modern dark dark horse presents the the uh, most recent two volumes. They, they tend to not be plentiful. Almost looks like the Star Wars book, man. Ah. Uh, I picked up two copies of this. I think the other one I'm selling and whatnot tonight, but um, this is uh, Festival of Heroes, the Asian Superheroes Celebration. First monkey prints. 
which actually I was looking at this because I was I was grading it for whatnot. The back cover is 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 pretty cool. That that's a pretty cool back cover. You know? Oh, nice. oh yeah. I, I don't know if that character is gonna take off or, or not, but you know, it's this is DC, you know, but <laughs> we'll see. We'll see. Um talk about hard to find Scotty Young covers. This was a 2014 Scotty Young cover, you know, before Scotty Young was, you know, Scotty Young, right? <laughs> yeah. Dude, that, well, that LCS that closed by my house, dude. Yeah. They had a stack of them and I put them back, dude. And I could have got oh. those for 50 cents, dude. They had wow. a freaking little. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I, I think that I, sh I showed this to some. I was digging with, I, I want to say one of you guys, or maybe it was uh, Tony Blue Green. No, I was with you. I was with you with that. Okay, you were with me. I'm like, yeah, I'm yeah. like, yeah, should I? But it was Star Comics number one. It's hard not to pick up. You've got Mandrake the Magician, the Phantom, and a couple of those other kind of vintage uh, heroes in there. So, and it was such a nice copy. Usually, when you see Star Comics, you know they're 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 beat up. Pick yeah. up all that 80s, 90s cartoon nostalgia, bro. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Let's see what else. Oh, I love this. I. I was happy to get this back because I pulled this out of a one of the Walmart uh, three packs, mm -hmm. and um, like an idiot, I put it up on whatnot. And you know, a lot of a lot of folks and whatnot are like, "It's a second print; it can't be worth anything." And I got like five bucks for it. I mean, this is like a fifty dollar book, you know. Um, Doctor Voodoo, some of the Avenger, the oh, Supernatural, yeah. you know, those have those those have low print runs. Um, some more Scotty Young. You know, I, I'm not really a Scotty Young fan, but the more I pick these up, the more I become a fan. You know? <laughs> well, so, you know, I, I mean, they're addictive, dude. Well, yeah. you know who we should have been asking the entire time of what Who's Scotty that? Young books is Dino's wife. She's a oh, huge Scotty Young collector. That's right. I I do remember hearing something like that. I think this was another one I asked someone, you know, beside me, one of you guys. I yeah, said, I was there Should too. I pull it? Yeah. And then, uh, yeah, one of you guys said, yeah, uh, th there's She-Hulk on there. And I'm like, I'm like, oh, yeah, good good point. So that was is that uh, a Bartel cover? Uh, yes, it is. Yep. Um, Pick this one up. Person, I think, person, right? you know, I nominated this a while back for the Spec 10. Oh, you finally um, got one. I'm happy for you now. <laughs> all right. Uh, picked up. Uh, I think at two different booths, you know, the Alejandra Jones, um, the Lady Liberators. I think nice. that's, is that the Frank Cho? Yeah, Frank Cho. I think this was actually, they put variant on it, but it, I think it was actually a 50-50. I think this has been on the Spec 10 before. Is that, um, was that 13 or is that nine? That is seven. seven. Okay. Incredible Hulk, 250. Pick that up for two bucks. Let's see. Um, I'm a believer in Brian Banner, Bruce Banner's father. So pick. I think this was at two different booths. Uh, let's see the Infinity. You know, this is kind of faded from glory, but uh, you know, I, am I saying you know what was once hot will get hot again? I believe it. I never can find this book, and I actually, you know, found. It. I mean, it's just the regular cover, but ever since it was on the Spec Ten, it it it's disappeared. It disappeared from bins, but that's my first copy ever of that. Um, the collected edition, Invincible presents Adam Eve. I saw the number one and the number two with uh, Rex Explode, uh, but uh, apparently this one is a little sells a little bit better. Uh, let's see. We got Justice League 50, second print, right? The Je first Jessica Cruz as a Green Lantern. Um, I always pick up. I'm always looking for the um, Dar uh, Dark Knight's Metal tie-in books. That's a second print. Yeah. Uh, no, it's a it's a first print. Are you it's sure? Just, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I'm telling you, it's a second print, so it's a second print. Okay. I'm just, I'm just <laughs> uh, I, no, I, thought that, I thought that was a second print. I swear to God, man, that's yeah. crazy. Um, 
this one, you know, the Manhunters are supposed to be the villains and Green Lantern. Pe people don't really um, pay attention to that. Uh, picked up this Kazar uh, map variant. Uh, this one um, I actually bought on eBay, but I bought a copy of the con. And but I know Nico loves loves this cover, the original cover, more than I do. So I gave it to him. But then the next day, I was like, "Wow, that wasn't that isn't an easy book to find." And I do want it for my personal collection. So this is Marvel <laughs> Zombies versus the Army of Darkness, the number one second. Dude, I've print. never seen that book, mother. Yeah, I had never seen ass, it either. Dude. He had never seen it either. Yeah, I, I, I remember. Was, yeah, I remember when you were giving it to to Nico. Yeah, so you found I, and a I was second happy copy to give it to him. But then the next day, I was like, I want, I want, you know, it's like, <laughs> yeah, I want one for myself too, I, you know. So that that's um, kind of cool though that you found two at one con. Oh no! I, no, I, what I'm saying is, I gave him my only copy, and then the next day, I, oh, I got, okay. it was a Monday. I went online. I was like, oh, you okay. know, I was like, I, I want one too. <laughs> <laughs> New Avengers 40. You, you know, you always find that missing. This is um. Did you guys know this is Secret Wars number one, the second print? Let me see. Raise the raise the book up, shall we? It's Let a virgin. Cover. Oh, nice. I know we've talked about one of the other issues before, but number two. Yeah, yeah. I, I think this yeah. is number one. I'm pretty sure. Hold on, I'll take it out. Hey, that's what she said. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> or it's a misprint, you know? Because oh, because it's reversed. Um, it was right. intentionally done like that. Yeah. yeah, yeah, like where you read the backwards for whatever reason. Uh, uh, I I think I was with Ninth Wonder at at Dallas. And we, he found the second print also, and it's exactly okay. like that too. Yeah. Okay. And then I asked um, Nico about it, and he was like, "Yeah, the second prints are like that for whatever reason." Yep. She Hulk. Did you get that from that guy that had all those She Hulks in that box? I don't think so. I don't think so. Because there was a guy that had a shitload, and I should have picked him up, man. Okay. Well, we'll skip that one. You had all um, those great horns. I had no idea. That there was a, a third print of this. And it even says third print down in the corner. Oh, uh, yeah. It doesn't, you show, you, yeah, I think you showed me that. Yeah, I, I mean, it doesn't sell, I don't think, any differently. But, I, was, you was know, that, I like those those weird... Wasn't uh, that the issue that had a lot of errors with it because of the alignment of the uh, embossed foil part? Oh, to it? I don't know. I'll have it might have been, Aaron. Uh, it might have yeah. been. But um, Sin City number one, I believe this is a second print. Um, I had trouble figuring out what it was uh, because I, you know, it's not the first print. I guess I picked this up. I don't even remember picking picking this up. Um, <laughs> but a Spider Man twenty ninety nine, nice. Um, hmm. You're getting popular. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Stormbreaker, the saga, Beta Ray Bill, a couple of the issues there for two dollars each. You know, a low print run. Beta Ray Bill doesn't get a whole lot of uh series. Oh, back to one of your other books, the Kazar map variant. I want to yeah. say, aren't, aren't those like one in 25s? Uh, yeah, there's there they are ratios. Uh, I'm not sure if it's high, high as 125, and they're connecting too. Yeah. They haven't they haven't all been released yet. Yeah. Um Superman Lois and Clark. Uh Phil was there with me. And uh when when I when I picked these up, Ooh. the number one's already in a separate pile to be graded. <laughs> <laughs> but that that was incredible. That was in the Reese, right? Phil yeah, was that the, the Reese's were telling me that hey man, Phil, you gotta check out the two dollars, man, because they're all real immaculate shape. You know, they're like nine eights, just about. Yeah. So, and then to I think I only have a couple more. Um, you know, I I don't know if I I I don't think I would have passed up a number one, but um, here's a number two newsstand nice. of Warlock Infinity Watch, and then I picked up three copies of 
Web of Spider-Man number 99. I think that's what first um, Night Watch. Is that right? Yes. Yeah. Yeah, and, right. you know, there's been rumors over the years about him getting his own film. So um, a lot of my other stuff is in other boxes. So but I thought that was, you know, a, a, a good part of the pickups from Baltimore Comic Con. Just had a blast uh, digging and with all of you guys and and some of the other folks who aren't on tonight but it was it was great yeah i oh, mean man, it was great seeing all you guys man it was yeah that was yeah. uh love meeting steve phil and, and of course yeah. aaron man like yeah i mean yeah it was a pleasure to meet everyone in person and it's you know it's always a blast to dig with someone that we you know we've been talking with for you know a yep. good portion of the year and uh and i can't wait till next year so no yeah. doubt yeah. no that was hysterical when your hand just went in a pile and you go look six <laughs> nebulas for a dollar <laughs> piece like yeah you go hey joe look six of them i go man god damn there was nothing else in there dude like you <laughs> scored the, the rest of it was shit dude and they had a guy at the end of the like with all those boxes and he was just like that after you scored all those nebulas, he was mad dogging me. Like I was like, <laughs> <laughs> like you know, and it was like I'm not the one who just finished like scoring all those books. So yeah. Hashtag dirty flipper, you know. Dirty so. Flipper. Hey, so did this show meet your expectations of a digging show? Aaron oh Joe? Baltimore? Yeah. Oh yeah, most definitely. Like um you know yeah. i've said it on other shows but i'll say it on this one too like i had never seen so many comic vendors at one convention before absolutely like so i mean i plan to keep on going every year like from now on just because like i know i can like find good deals and like i felt like i barely even scratched the surface at this con and still like made out like a bandit and like i, I should have stayed till sunday dude because if I would have stayed, I know I would have found some more heat, dude. And I just, I, I love just going through there and finding books I, like, hadn't seen in, like, ages, dude, in high grade. That's it. See, that's the thing. Like, there's, like, ghost books that, like, they had never been taken out of the bag and board, man. And I was just like, Wow. Well, you I know, mean, they may have been a little overpriced on their wall and stuff, but in their back bins, man, like they were like, just take it, you know? Yeah. Well, I mean, like what? McClay found the book that he's been looking for for how many years? Like within two Dude, hours of being at the con? No, no. I was, I went and got McClay outside. I brought uh -huh. him back. I brought him in and he goes, well, let's go look for, uh, he wanted to go talk to Phil and see, say hi. Right. And I go, I'll show you where his table's at. So we walk right by and he goes, hold on. Can I see that book? And, and he saw half of a cover and he mm -hmm. goes, I think that's the book I need. And so they moved it. Yep. Yeah, I'll take that. What do you want for it? And, uh, and I, I can't remember. I think maybe paid like maybe 50, 60, maybe a little more, but just like that, he found his book. Yeah. So yeah. It was like in, in 10 minutes, bro. Well, yeah, I mean, and he had been looking for that book for, I, I heard, like, at least five years. That's crazy, isn't it? Yeah. So. But he recognized the book seeing half of the cover. Yeah, yeah. That That's how, probably how much he had been wanting that book. Yeah. Yeah, I think it was that Static, uh, the boys homage or something. Or... Yeah. Uh, yeah. No, Static. Um... Um... Oh, yeah. May... Uh... Was I it the I... boys? Um, no, no, it was a static something else. Oh, imagine something else. It was in the late forties, I think, because stored. Uh, yeah. Issue forty-five is the last issue. Yeah, I want. I want to say it's the last issue, or it's one of the last few issues, or something like that. So, all right, I want to thank everyone for watching. Make sure to like and subscribe to the channel, and then yeah, uh, we'll hey, see you. Hey, wait till you see time. your books, Phil. And then, All right. yeah, looking forward we'll see to you it. At, we'll see you at the next uh, comic convention. And until then, we'll catch you on the flip side.